that his wife's back. It takes two seconds. I just did it in two seconds. You've had two days. Don't change the subject. Oh, any excuse me, Storm. That's why you're picking on Adam. If only you could see Adam. Gentle, harmless Adam. I'd like to see him. I'd like to thank him for all he did for you. I've already done that. I want him to know how grateful I am. I told him I knew you'd be. Where's he now? The YMCA. YMCA? Yes, he lives at the YMCA, and he loves it at the YMCA. What else do you want to know? Yes? Not there. Thank you. Oh, Miss Worth, I want you to find a Stephen Burkett. Now, this is very important. Drop everything else. I tried all the hotels. You tried the country clubs, the men's clubs, the athletic clubs. The YMCA. I tried the YMCA. Just find it. Yes, sir. Oh, Miss Worth, would you come here, please? Uh, sit down. Uh, uh, from a, a, a woman's point of view. Yes, sir. I have a, I have a client who's in great distress. You see, his, uh, his wife is... Uh, been unfaithful to him. For how long? What's that got to do with it? Well, some people look at these things one way and some people look at another. Five years. <sighs> she must have been a pretty smooth operator. The circumstances were highly unusual. The wife should be forgiven. Always? Oh, well, of course, you ball her out a little bit. You don't want her to keep at it, but you know. Er is human and all that sort of jazz. And if the husband... Oh, that's quite different. He has a wife waiting for him at home. Thank you, Miss Worth. Just find Stephen Burkett. Yes, sir. Going out with the children, Mrs. Tibbs? Yes, my day off, madam. is perfectly clear to me now. It's practically a textbook case. There's only one little thing that bothers me. No. Now, I could understand it if I repelled him, but his not being able to... Well, that would make it more understandable, yes. And I happen to know that Nicholas is mad about me. I see. That's why it's so maddening, this... this shine. Hmm. Well, now... <clears throat> Now, you say that even though... Joe, there you are. That won't be necessary here. It's, that's a... Yeah, just get right up. <clears throat> now, you say that even on your wedding night... Uh, that's right, Doctor. Uh, even though you were... Naturally. Uh, including... Of course. Mm -hmm. Amazing. You know, it's, it's almost as if... Oh, it is indeed, yes. Yeah. Also. Yeah, really? Even I... Oh, extraordinary. And you, uh... Yes, you, yes, you yes. tried a little of that. Well, then, I, I don't, uh... Hmm. Yeah. Uh... Man must be crazy. No, I hope not, Doctor. I like to think that Nicholas is just simply... insecure. But he's got me so... Yes, yes. <laughs> I, I can see that, yes. Dr. Schlick, will you stay with me today? Oh, well, I, uh... Not here. We'll go out for lunch. After all, I have finished my analysis, and you wouldn't have to worry about breaking any rules. What rule? Would you? Well, I do have some other appointments, but if we, uh... uh I, could I use your telephone a minute? Yes, yes, of course. Thank you. Stephen Burkett, please. Oh, he's not in his room. Would you have him paged, please? Paging Mr. Burkett. Call for Mr. 
Stephen Burkett. Mr. Burkett. Mr. Burkett. Excuse me, are you being waited on? Not yet. I could wait on you. Thank you. Um, do you have this shoe in a six and a half triple A? We have that in all sizes. Uh, if you sit over here, I'll get it for you. Thank you. We carry that model exclusively in the genuine Bengal crocodile. That's the true or saltwater crocodile. Found also in South China, Northern Australia, the Fiji Islands. Of course, there is the freshwater crocodile found in Rhodesia and parts of North America. But they make inferior footwear. Are you free for lunch? Uh, that is, uh, inferior footwear is made from them. The crocodiles themselves don't actually make... Will you have lunch with me? I... I, I bring my lunch to the store. I'd be so grateful if you take it out. Oh. I guess my foot's grown. Mm. Go barefoot for five and a half years. Adam? Well, Stephen, really. Stephen Burkett. You wanted to meet him, didn't you? Well, here he is. Here he is. to meet you. Nick. Oh, well, sit down, Adam. Take a load off your feet. Thank you. I really don't have very much time. I'm making a report to the Geographic Society on the flora and fauna we found on the island. I was very excited by the island's vegetation. I'm afraid I spent so much time in research, I wasn't very good company for your wife. <laughs> oh, I'm sure she understood. Eve uh, said uh, you had some questions you wanted to ask me, Nick. Oh, he has. Ask him. Ask him anything. Well, let me see. Oh, what kind of an island was it? Uh, oh, I'd say it was a, uh, an ordinary island, wouldn't you, wouldn't you say? Mm, like the rest. Small island? Not small. 
Not large. Medium. Jungle. Jungle. Yeah, trees, vines. Oh, trees, yes. No vines. Well, yes, vines, too. Water. Well, yes, all around. That's one of the nicest things about Adam. He doesn't talk your ear off. <laughs> I suppose you lived in tree houses. Oh. Uh, huts. We lived in huts. Yeah, separate huts. Even during the rainy season? When it rained, we moved on up into the trees. Separate trees. Anything else you want to ask? I don't think so. I got a good, clear picture. Well, then shall I be running along? Oh, must you? Well, the Geographic Society insists on punctuality. <laughs> well, uh, drop in again, Adam, and we'll talk about the uh, flora and the fauna. Thank you. Bye, Bye Eve. Adam. Watch it. Satisfied? Completely. Now, aren't you ashamed of those suspicions you had about me? Terribly. Mm. Cut it, Gordon. Thank you. Cut it.